Hello everyone! Today I want to show you how to install Race Flight 1 using the latest Pegasus UI. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go grab the latest version of the Pegasus UI. To do that, I've gone to this Google Drive location, which I'll try to link down below so you know how to get here. Pegasus is actively being updated, uh, as you saw in my last video. While I was working on making that video, they were updating it. Looks like uh, there's another new version that was released yesterday. So I'm going to go and download this one now. All right, Pegasus is downloaded. Let's open that image file up. And I'm going to drop it in my Applications folder, replace the previous version that I downloaded. And let's open up my Applications folder, grab Pegasus, start it up with the Control key. Yes, I trust it. I really do want to open Pegasus. All right, now it's asking me to connect a compatible flight controller. So like most of you, my flight controller currently has a older version of Butterflight or Betaflight on it that is not compatible. So when I plug this in, Pegasus is going to try to detect it. And I should point out at this point, if you don't have the right USB drivers on your computer for Pegasus to auto detect your flight controller, it'll get stuck at the screen and it'll have the little circle uh, spinning around trying to detect and it, it'll never finish. So if you don't have the right drivers, you should go to the Pegasus GitHub page and read what it says here. Um, if you're on a Windows computer, they give you all these instructions in Linux. I'm on a Mac, uh, so the first time I ran Pegasus, I needed to install Brew and then use Brew to install LibUSB. To do that, I went to, um, let's see, is it brew.sh <clears throat> to get the Homebrew website. And you, all you really need to do is copy this line into a terminal prompt. So you run terminal, go into your terminal window, paste that into the screen here. Oh, I did not copy it. Copy, paste. You need to run that as an administrator. That will go and install brew on your computer, which is already on mine. Once you've got brew, you can go back to that GitHub page and see that it says run brew install libusb. I'll copy that. It would paste it into the window and I already have it installed on this computer so it works. Um, although not as this user. And then once you're in Pegasus and you connect up your flight controller, it'll all work and detect everything and you'll be on your way. And it's going to say that it's an incompatible device. I haven't figured out yet how to tell this command line to enter uh, the DFU mode so that it would boot and I could install new software. So the only way I've figured out how to do that so far is to quit Pegasus and go into Betaflight or Butterflight, start up the Butterflight configurator. Tell Butterflight to boot. All right, now I'm connected with the old version of Butterflight on my flight controller. I'm going to the CLI and type BL for bootloader mode. Now you can see up here my board's in the DFU mode. I can exit out of Butterflight Configurator. And let's start up Pegasus again. And now it detected the board and sees that it's in DFU mode. And I'm going to choose Race Flight and use my Helio Spring board. And I'm going to use Race Flight 1 with the brand new FU mode. And I always suggest erasing everything and starting over and flash away.
All right, now at this point, you've got the new firmware installed, race flights on the board, but this version of Pegasus gets stuck at this point. So the only way to get out of it is to disconnect your flight controller and connect it again. Uh, it should be completely safe to do that right now. So I'm disconnecting my USB connection, plugging it back into my flight controller, and let Pegasus detect it. And there it is. You can see that I'm up and connected with Race Flight 1. Uh, I can click version info and see Race Flight, my Helio Spring, here's the version, and it's at IMUF version 108. So at this point, Race Flight is installed on the flight controller, and the first thing it asks you to do is run the assistance. So I'm going to click Orientation Assistant, lay your quad flat. Uh, it's mostly flat sitting there. Click the image below. Next. Point it on its nose. All right, quads on its nose. Click. All right, now it knows which way is up. If I wiggle it around, the picture of that Gatesman frame there is doing pretty much what I'm doing. And next up is the motor assistant. I have my prop spinning the, the normal direction. And yes, I have my propellers off, so I'm safe. And the battery is unplugged. And now I'm going to plug in a battery. All right, I assume that was all the calibration tones. I'm going to click Next. That sounds like it stopped making noises, so I'm going to click Next again. Oh, I'm going to make this screen a little bit bigger. That looks better. All right, let's uh, map my motors. Spin motor number one. And motor number two is the one that's spinning. All right, now I want to spin motor number two. And motor number three is spinning. Spin motor number three, and motor number four is the one spinning. All right, see if it's got it right. Uh, motor number one, no, motor number three is spinning. Motor number two, uh, no, that's motor four. Motor three, oh, now motor one is spinning. And spin motor four, and motor one is spinning again. Let's try this again. Motor number one. Oh, that's motor number four. Hey, now motor one spinning. Motor two. Uh, that's motor one again. Now motor two's good. Motor three thinks it's motor two. Motor three is correct. Motor four, no, that says motor two. No, motor three. And now motor four is correct. Just triple check one more time. One is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two is two, three is three, and four is four. So I'm finished. And now it's time to set up my receiver. But the only problem is, uh, well, I'm not running FR Sky Crossfire Spectrum. I have Fly Sky, and I have it connected to UART 3, I believe. Just like uh, a lot of people do, because the Helio documentation uh, wiring diagram shows it that way. Let's see if I can bring that up. Helios. Uh, let's see, was that under the docs? All right, looking at this wire diagram that I believe a lot of people went by, at least at one point. So I have my receiver just like this crossfire set up here on transmit receiver UART3. But from what I understand for race flight, it currently only supports having your receiver on UART2. So no matter what I do on this screen, it's not going to work for me. So let's go see what else we can do here in race flight. I'm going to go take a look at the OSD. I believe this OSD is a new feature. And OSD is turned on. You can flip these uh, toggles over here to add or remove what you want. And the really cool thing, you can just go grab this and say, OK, I want my craft name. Eh, let's just drag it, drag it over there. I don't want the current draw, I don't want the crosshairs. And you can see down here's voltage, down here's the flight time. Let's wiggle those around a little bit. When you're happy with it, hit save. Oh, and before I go, there's one last thing I wanted to point out. Helio RC is stating that to get into the Race Flight 1 OSD menu, so like in your goggles while you're looking at your camera and you want to get into the OSD menu and change some settings, uh, you, you put the sticks in the same way you would for Beta Flight or Butter Flight, but you have to hold those sticks in that place for two seconds, and then you'll see the OSD where you can adjust your PIDs and all the other settings. Well, I think that's where I'm going to end this video. So have fun testing out race flight and check back on that uh, Pegasus Google Drive folder frequently because there's going to be updates coming out pretty regularly from what I can tell. And again, if you need more help, uh, I would suggest you go check out Helio's Discord channel. Uh, the quick way to get there is go to Helio's website, click on support, and here's their link to Discord and connect and log in. And there's channels there for race flight help and Pegasus help.